Hello, this is Dustin with Home Mender, and today we're going to show you how to do a fan texture on the wall, plaster or drywall, sometimes it's called the swirl. If you don't put it on there, it makes your repair look bad. You at least want to try to blend the texture. I'm going to show you how to do it. Let's get to it. So the first thing we want to do is get a skim coat on the wall. We've removed a coat rack or some long hook deal dad and behind it was uh, all boogered up, had to skim coat it. So we've got one coat on it. We're going to sand it down now to make it smooth. All right, now that it's smooth, I hope you can see this. I got this swirl pattern right here. It's kind of a half circle. Mixed up some five minute mud here. Make it nice and soupy. If your swirl tracks are pretty thick, you're gonna want a thicker mud. If they're really thin, you're gonna want a really soupy mud, okay? Put a nice thin coat over the entire thing. Go ahead and go past your repair. And a little bit under it. All right, that's looking good. Now we're gonna take a common sponge and we're gonna start at the farthest side away. So you're gonna arch it this way. You're gonna cover up the start of the previous swirl with the following swirl. Looking good. Hope you can see that swirl pattern. It's gonna look a lot better having it been textured after you paint it than if you just left it smooth coat. So that's it, super easy. Just a quick pointer on how to texture a wall. You can pretty much make any texture you want with some five minute mud and a sponge. You can blot, you can swirl, you can circle. The best part is, if it's wrong, you can just wipe it off and start over. So for Home Ender Inc., this is Dustin. I hope you learned something today, and if you did, don't forget to click subscribe. Thanks for watching.